Hello Virgo, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading regarding the person you have on your mind. So again, this is strictly for the ones that are interested to know the energies of the person they have on their mind. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. So in this spread, we're going to go ahead and see how your, uh, how your person feels towards you, the action that they would like to take, how do they view you, where are the blockages that they're facing? What they love best about you, Virgo? We will see here what are their hopes, what they don't like best about you, their true intentions, where are you both at, and what do they see the best possible outcome with you? In the extended will be where the connection is and how you both mirror each other, feelings, views, action, and so on. Uh, the link is in the description box below if you're interested. All right, so Virgo's person, please. One more, please. Oh, two of swords and two of wands. A lot of crossroads. Six of cups. There is a situation from the past, nostalgia, or someone that you feel very familiar with. We will see what. A lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety regarding this choice. <coughs> the ace of swords. With the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, ooh, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Oh my goodness, Virgo, what's going on here? Now, that Eight of Swords, eight, I'm sorry, that Ace of Swords makes sense because the Two of Swords is here. Uh, so definitely, uh, they're feeling they want communication. They want some type of clarity. Um, they're thinking very logically, though, with that ace of, because we're talking about feelings here, and we'll see when we clarify. But they they feel like they need to know. They feel they need to say something. Uh, I feel like when when I see the ace of swords as feeling, it's just someone that is looking to cut something off here that feels confused. Whatever the confusion, the indecision. Remember, we had the two of swords and the two of wands. So um, definitely they're looking to someone to make a choice. And even their actions here with the four of cups, it's just someone that feels like, okay, I want to offer this, but I'm not sure. Contemplating how to come. Now, this is more emotional regarding actions, but um, they're still thinking, what should I do? Is this going to, is this cup going to be offered? Should I do this? Should I... Um, Tell them what I feel. I'm getting that someone is contemplating regarding their emotions and how to come forward. Because they view you as someone here that feels abandoned. So their view is feeling neglected, abandoned, kind of, you know, uh, in a in a situation because it's Mercury in Taurus. And I keep thinking that this person can be very analytical as, as well. This actions, this clarity has to do with their view here of um, someone might reject them or might not agree to this offer. Um, the blockage is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this may be you. This may be the person um, that they are. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is very concerned about her security, about her wealth, about, about her money. So if there is a concern here of someone feeling financially poor or being abandoned, then I can understand why the Queen of Pentacles is coming as blockages here. Because someone here is afraid of, you know, being left, as I mentioned here, um, outside, casted outside, um, abandoned for something else here, not making a decision. It's, I have to, <laughs> the cards are very interesting here because the Eight of Swords is coming as what they love best about you. I mean, we are talking here about someone that feels trapped. But since I do not do reversal, I always think of the, the positive and the negative of each card. And uh, with the Eight of Swords here, we have someone, is that you overthink? They love that about you, the overthinking. I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, since Mercury is your ruler, Virgos can have the tendency to overthink. Um, always trying to find the solution when you feel stuck. That's what they love best about you. They may they may feel again that they're stuck on you, and this is something that kind of makes them love you more. Again, it's not the best card here 
regarding this person but again this is the card that came up so I'm reading them um, and also their hope here is the five of wands a lot of fives right we have the five of pentacles and the five of wands here um, and the five of cups so a lot of uh, always when I look at the fives I always feel like some type of things like crises that need to be passed um, with the five of wands being their hopes they want to win here whatever the obstacles and the challenges they want to win this is the card of uh, competition this is the card of challenge so I don't know if they feel like oh do not give up fight for this or they're hoping to win this situation whatever the obstacles and the challenge and the tension they see you as closed off and that's what they don't like the four of pentacles remember oh I'm afraid I'll be left out. Uh, the Four of Pentacles here. I'm holding on to my security because the Queen of Pentacles is coming as a challenge. So definitely someone here is playing um, their cards here very much close to their chest. I'm not opening up unless I know for sure. Uh, um, I'm not going to make a decision right now because I, I don't know. And that's what they don't like. Um, their intentions is the Emperor. Aries Taurus, someone here very much that has everything when it comes to the emperor under control. So that's what their intentions. I want to build something here from foundation. I want control over this situation. Uh, responsibilities. You both are emotionally withdrawn. So I can understand why this is all happening since both of you might feel like you need to walk away or leave things that have disappointed you behind. I'm, I'm getting again that they feel like there's going to be a regret here. There's They're holding on to that emotional loss. What they see here, regret, remorse, and kind of, you know, I know we have said it before, but it is that, oh, the one that got away type of situation, farewell. So let's see, let's clarify whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, they want to win the Six of Wands here or something. Tell me about the Ace of Swords as feelings. One more. Okay, so definitely they want communication. They want some type of clarity. They want to get out of whatever this obstacle challenge is, feeling left out. They want this enthusiastic, flirtatious energy uh, towards you. Tell me about the Four of Cups. One more. Yeah. They want to offer you something, but they're very guarded, very apprehensive. Um, very vulnerable towards you as well. Definitely, though, there's a resistance here. They want to come forward. They want to offer you something in a very guarded way. But it looks like it's been something that they've been thinking here for a long time with the Nine of Wands. They don't want to give up on you. What is the Five of Pentacles? One more. Oh, my goodness. I mean, why? What happened here, Virgo? Heartbroken and cast it outside or left. Again, this, this may be your fear. You might have gotten hurt. They may view that you're going to, you have been abandoned or neglected. And you're still holding on because remember, you're not opening up. All right, so let's see the Queen of Pentacles as challenge here. One more. Yeah, very defensive. Someone is holding very much to their security, not open, opening up because it's coming in a challenge position. That's why I look at it as a reverse uh, with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, someone, uh, unless you have blocked this person, Virgo, just no, do not come. There's a barrier with the Queen of Pentacles energy. All right, let's see the Eight of Swords. Why they love the Eight of Swords best, please. One more. All right, wow. 
stuck in the past. They're still stuck on you. Definitely we're talking about the nostalgia. You might have known each other for a long time, some of you here. We have air and water. So here we have the mind versus uh, emotions, feelings. But I feel like that is something from the past. Stuck on the past situation. Did they love? If you are not stuck, they are stuck on you. And apparently this is kind of makes them feel like, okay, good. Like the Six of Cups, I may be like, oh, we had a good time together. Still remembering the, those good times because that Eight of Swords is not an easy card trapped. So I have to look at it as I, I see it. Um, let's see the Five of Wands. One more. A lot here. Okay. That is an opportunity that they want to fight for. They're hoping here. Whatever the burdens. It's like to me with the Ten of Wands, which is, again, there they have the Nine of Wands here. Someone that is so determined when it comes to this chance. This chance right now, this seems so hidden, so much unpredictable with the moon we don't know what we see we just you know go by our emotions but that's what they're hoping for that there's going to be uh this chance that is coming in out of whatever you know has been hidden some type of confession as well with the ten of wands and the the moon because i feel like someone wants to unburden themselves um that's what their hopes are. Your person is not having it easy with all of these cards. Except again that they are very clear that they want to talk to you. Um, everything else is burdens, obstacles, challenges, um, wanting an opportunity and crossroads. What is the Four of Pentacles? I usually... I. I, I it's not negative it's not negative i mean this is life it's just that it looks like there's a tension here the fives are good because it means that there's going to be movement what is the four of pentacles one more yeah six of wands which wanted to come out forward remember you have the seven of wands there there's someone here that when it comes to their image, when it comes here, maybe they're very much you're holding on to your pride, to your status. Remember, that's their perspective. But um, that's what they don't like here. That someone is holding very much to their pride or to their status and not opening up to this recognition. You're not like, maybe you're not acknowledging someone here. Some of you are maybe may very much all about, um, again, their perspective, please. I'm, I'm looking at different from the collective here since there's, a, there's this concern about being abandoned. And here is someone that wants to hold on very, very, very tightly to their image and their status and their security. What is the emperor? One more. Okay, so there's the depth, there's the card here that says, okay, because these are their intentions. Now, the uh, the emperor and the lovers we are talking about, again, a control, but it has to do with someone here that wants to be in control of this choice because we have the two of swords. We know that there's a connection, we know that there's a big choice ahead, and their intentions are there for the person here to have this under their control, whatever the choice, to have the responsibility to, to, again, the emperor wants to build at the end. So two people here that want to be together, but again, it's coming with some type of boundaries and control. What is the eight of cups? One more. Okay. 
definitely you guys are trying to heal holding back very elusive you are not opening up there is an understanding here spiritually between the two of you telepathically but i feel like you are emotionally withdrawn uh trying to let things disappointment behind that is the energy that both of you you might be mirroring each other very well there all right so let's see the five of cups one more oh my goodness the nine of cups scorpio and um pisces yeah they they desire they wish for you they feel like they might might have lost you because this is what they see possible crying over a certain person here that makes them happy one more the seven of cups all these cups there's going to be all these feelings they they're emotionally though you guys are trying to let go back and forth here there's that inner knowing telepathy again i feel like there's still dream here it's just an emotional bond um they want more with a page of wands they want more with the nine of wands the ones are all always about action but remember they feel like someone has put a barrier here um they're fighting it it looks like they're fighting in it they feel like again they may have lost someone here that really truly makes them happy um that's that's right now it looks like they feel like there's nothing concrete here we will see in the extended um where the connection will be and how you both mirror each other thank you guys Bye bye